after years of considering to compete, I finally decided to sign up for the next UK Latte Art Championship because it was either now or never. I asked my friend Bank on the left to coach me for this competition. He is an experienced competitor and I'm really grateful we worked together for the same coffee company at the time. So neither of us were actually familiar with the Latte Art Championship, so we had to start our competition preparation from scratch. Before I dive into today's vlog, let me give you a bit of context of the coffee competition I was preparing for. The World Coffee Championships are held annually in different countries produced by the World Coffee Events. It's not the only international coffee competition, but it certainly has the biggest scale. The WCC has seven disciplines in total. The Barista Championship, Coffee and Good Spirits Championship, Brewer's Cup, Cup Tasters Championship, Coffee Roasting Championship, Latte Art Championship, and Jesve Championship. Every country competing in the WCC would hold their own national scale competitions. These local organizations are called the SCA chapters. The Latte Art Championship I entered was held by the SCA UK chapter, or SCA UK for short. Depending on various reasons, some chapters may only choose to hold a few championships and not all of them. Every competition has its own set of rules published by the World Coffee Events. Rules may or may not change between each year. Luckily, the rules for this year's Latte Art Championship remain the same as last year. Tickets weren't released yet, so we were just taking our time to go over the rule book before any hands-on practice. If you decided to compete, read the rules. You'd be surprised that some people don't read rules before competing simply to just get disqualified for something clearly stated in the rule book. The rule book is a horribly long document that consists over 30 plus pages. It took me around two or three separate days to actually finish reading it and taking notes. If you're competing in a SCA competition, the thing you should always prioritize is to not get disqualified. So my coach Bank has been disqualified many times before, so I'll be learning from his experience. As stupid as it sounds, you may get disqualified for the following reasons. Failure to disclose a conflict of interest. If you don't fully complete a category of drinks before moving on to the next set. If a competitor places or pours liquid or ingredients on top of the machine, for example, water in a cup. Any competitor who is more than five minutes late to their preparation time. Any competitor who goes over time by two minutes in their performance. If their coach or supporter interferes with performance. If you're a bit confused about what this is all about, that's totally fine. This was my first time reading the whole set of rules for a SCA competition as well. So I was really confused at what was I supposed to do during the first week of my training. Now let's get back to the recording and see what we picked up. So with the timekeeper thing, G, <coughs> at bar G, it will tell you three minutes, one minute and 30 seconds. Uh, Are you okay with that or does that stress you out? Because uh, with Brew's Cup, you can ask them to give you a different... You can be like, give me a time check at one minute. I would just tell them. I, I've never time kept for myself before, so I need to see. At Brewers, they allow that, so I'm not sure. I'm yeah, as volunteers, we were allowed that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. But if that stressed you out, then we can ask them to change it. Because for me, it would stress me out. I'm like, fuck off. Really? Yeah, because three minutes, one minute, I prefer it at like maybe two minutes. Okay. Or maybe, yeah. But that's all up to you. We'll see how we go and actually practice and see. Me telling you, you got three minutes left, you got one minute left. I think it would stress me out. I would rather see it to myself, like time. Yeah. Because when you competing, I would rather just focus on what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Should just ask them, like, give me a two minutes mark, but then that's all you know. So you need to time, time the walk as well. That's 
Just two seconds. How far was it? From here to like here. Oh, so you're not gonna spill it. Two seconds. But turbulence, I think maybe will happen. Okay. Because even even in a cafe situation, it happens. Like you like move. Clean and burn. I think I'll be alright. Yeah. Um, time stop. Do so. You don't need to say time. I guess. I would say time. Just, Say, in case. just in case, yeah, do that. So the judges may not have coffee expertise. Hmm? Where does it oh. H. Okay, so the judge will assess. So if you have a shitty photographer. <laughs> it wasn't a photographer, it was one of the screen sharing things that you have in classrooms. Oh, really? Yes, it's really shit. Anyhow. <coughs> Appealing I can take a photo of my own, right? It doesn't say that I would be disqualified if I took a photo of my own. I think it's fine, but it's not going to judge from your own photo. Of, oh yeah, it's well, going like, to judge from their official. Yeah. If the camera misses any details, could I appeal? But I think it's art, but it's not big score. Ah, it's yeah. It's, yeah, I don't think it's big score. Anyhow, like I mean, we can appeal everything. <laughs> But it seems like they're focusing on the creativity, appeal, um, I, overall appealing impression and contrast. It looks like like a good. It looks good for someone who's out of the industry. I think so. Yeah. So you don't need to match anything. Just pour. Yeah. Oh, so I need to dial in for myself. Yeah. I remember that we didn't dial in for the first few competitors <laughs> until someone said something about it. Oh. No one told us. <coughs> Do you need to dial in for them? Yeah. But does it say in the. Uh, does it have to be A4 or something? Let's not say at the moment. And then I'm gonna use my <coughs> iPad to draw the pattern. <coughs> I'll, I'll, I'll you need to make sure you label it though. What label? Competitor must write free hall, designer. Oh. Yeah. Pictures on electronic devices will not be accepted. No. That's not very environmentally friendly. Yeah, like why don't you use iPad? I mean, we could have just used <coughs> instant milk, right? Huh? We could just use soap instead of milk. True. So the score would be based on how identical each set of drinks. Does it mean the um, <coughs> the coffee picture or my drawn picture? Oh. So the latte art should match your photo. Latte art on the print. Yeah. So the two has to match or well, somewhat the same, and then those has to match your presented. Because I thought would I thought they were <coughs> comparing the two latte arts by themselves. No. I think you get marks for those two that oh. it looks similar or not. Okay. And then are those two similar to your original design or not? Okay. I think. But we need to have a look at the score sheet. <sighs> It would make sense for them to do that. Mm -hmm. I feel like, you mean like identical, I mean it's how it's identical, right? But anyhow. Matching means there's no component that's missing, no? <coughs> yeah, I guess so. But it can be a bit, you know, off-centered. Off-centered, yeah. but yeah. You get zero straight away, so now we know. At least it's not a DQ, no? <laughs> Well, it basically you lose. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, you only get zero for the visual score sheet. Oh. So, yeah. But still, that's, that's pretty a lot of points. Um, what were you up to? I'm not at E. Oh, yeah, E already. It's fine. It doesn't make sense. It says it, there might be two competitors that are competing at the same time. It's not going to be yet. Okay. Not even the world. <coughs> I think the world has two machines, right? But I don't know if they were competing. They I don't think they competed at the same time. Is 
that mean you need to play music when I'm practicing? Probably. There's gonna be a lot of noise. I'd music rather. It just depends because when Moose was doing his um, Barista Champion, his first round he could not play music for some reason. We they got... never allowed it. They never allowed it. I don't think so. For Latte Art, no. Okay, that's fine. But they had background music going on. Fair enough. Because I'm, I'm used to quiet environment. I think for my Are practice. You sure? huh? At the world, was there no music? At the world, yes. At UK, no. Because I remember someone asked and then they said no. It might change. Oh, no. might and change. They don't even say anything about it. Because with Moose, the year before, he can use music. Mm. But this recent year, for some reason, he can't use it on the first round. But final, you can use it. So it may change. So just prepare okay. music anyways. Okay. Yeah? If it's my music, it makes more sense. Yeah, I'm gonna be used to it. Prepare your music anyways. Oh. Are you stressed? Yeah. <laughs> but good thing we're doing this though. Ah. <clears throat> I need to get a new mic. Oh. But do not miss if it says disqualified, do not miss it. I like it. Okay. Are you gonna pilot it in If you're new to this channel, I was working full-time as a barista for a few years before I started my master's degree last year. I only worked a few shifts every month in the past year, so my latte art had become extremely inconsistent. The lack of confidence in my latte art skills was one of the biggest struggles I had during my training sessions. And for today's session, we were just trying to see where I was in terms of latte art skills. For example, how was my milk texture? Was I okay at splitting milk? Do I need to improve on turning the cup? We weren't timekeeping at this stage since we both knew that I needed time to get used to my competition routine. Some coaches might train differently, but my coach knew rushing things would only stress me out. So we were just planning our training as we go.
We're gonna wash it. Um, this is my theory mm. because as the milk set, it change, yeah. changes, right? Mm. So I know that when you pour it, mm. you do this with this one, which is fine. Mm. You drag it out. Mm. But I think with the second one, you should turn this jug so you avoid getting the oh. milk out too fast. I you try that on the second one. Because mm. I know you, you, you're not doing anything wrong here, yeah. you do exactly the same one. Mm. But I think as the milk set, and changes. What if I steam more milk and then while it sits, I pour a bit out? We can try both and see how we go. Mm. But instead of doing the same as that, mm. I think maybe turning it mm. could help mm. with the wash line. Okay. Should we give it a go? Because mm. you know, like this, it comes out straight mm. away and it just go like, if you just, that has more control. Mm. I don't know which way you go, but anyhow. We give that a go and see how you go. Do you understand what's in here? Because mm. it's it's almost doing that to here as well, but because the form stays together a bit, mm. so it, it doesn't do it. But with this one, like, it just does it really easily. Okay. Let's give it a go. I need to Let's see how we go. Oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna dish oh. it. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Probably. I don't know if she has a photo or if they're allowed to take a photo because they came into the cafe culture and they sat with judges. Yeah, they allowed. I, I got my score sheet as well. Because that will be a good good reference for us to have a look at. It had it to control sideways. Right? I can't remember where I uh, should turn my cup. You change your step, step with this one as well. You do the base first. I should do the rotation oh, right. the sinking first. Right That's how you get uh, more definition. Because you want the tail to basically bend uh, and look like right. True, because you have the right one. Yeah, I think so. I just, just seems to find the right angle. And I was, uh, I was holding it over so I can see my two. Uh -huh. So we've done something good today. 
theme of the split team? Uh, it works. It works cool. So but works. I think it was figure out where I want my seaweed at because I, I ideally want the bubbles to be kind of around yeah right because it... this one's much better I hope you enjoyed the first episode of this series let me know what you think down in the comments 